In your the game plan, where is there a time where you hit your opponent and you like do a lot of damage? The next level up for you is going to be getting good at landing a special cancelable normal into like big damage and corner carry. To do that, it's very like nuanced. Because there's a lot of ways you can land a DRCable button. That's when you get fat with punishes into massive damage. So what I like to do is... What's up guys, I'm Trunks and I'm a high level master player in Street Fighter 6. A lot of players struggle with controlling the flow of the game and taking the momentum into their own hands. So in this video, we're going to be talking about exactly how you can do that. It's super important to make sure that your neutral wins convert into good damage, corner carry, and Oki so that you can push your advantage after you earn the knockdown. If this sounds like something you struggle with, make sure to watch the end of the video because I know you guys will get a lot out of this one. And as always, if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to like, comment, or subscribe because a lot of you guys who watch my channel actually aren't subscribed. So would really appreciate that because it helps the channel grow and we can help everybody reach their fighting game goals. I appreciate you guys. Catch you in the video. What's going hey, on? Man. It's been a minute. Gone. I've been gone for a while, but I'm glad we're back. So I'm going to try a new thing today where like for the sesh, we can get some games in. I want to watch a couple of replays and I'm going to give you some like notes. I'm going to send you some notes. Um, well, the only replays I have are from a custom lobby with friends and we're not gonna learn anything there i'm sorry it, they're <laughs> not like very not good really, uh... no <laughs> uh, okay maybe we want to, we can't do that then if you have no replays but we can play it for sure okay maybe next time uh we do it maybe if you could get some replays just from ranked or whatever that would be good yeah so yeah i plan on playing ranked more i just don't want to drop him more before this tournament because i have to be in a third new more for a bracket yeah for sure Oh, I missed the punish. That's crazy. With punish, uh, to, be, me. to be fair, this is the first game. Oh, we're getting warmed up here. We got it. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Naomi was just saying she doesn't whiff punish. I find that so amazing that she doesn't whiff punish. And she's higher ranked than me. <laughs> I must, she must be doing something I'm not. Oh, I forgot I hit my like, kitty out of that. My game is very loud, sorry, it's hard to hear it through. I don't know what my audio settings have changed, but, but it's kind of brutal. Ah! <laughs> oh god. Why am I missing me? Ooh. 
I still have that. I, I'm not a whip punish like we were saying in chat. I just I have the. the I don't know how y'all do it. <laughs> Obviously, you don't need it though. Naomi is go crazy without it. Oh no! Oh, nice. Oh, oh god, I thought it was a double KO to be honest. It's <laughs> I was supposed to drive reverse to them. Oh. Oh, this is gonna hurt. At least I'm alive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was, that was that was good. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I mean, it's hard yeah, with the charge right. characters to uh, to react to the DI because you can't buffer. You just you have to wait for that right moment. Oh, There's your no super is a charge move. Yeah, both yeah, of I them. How did I not know that? That's funny. So it. It's really hard to like just yeah. sit there and buffer and wait for you to change color. You literally have to like completely read it. Really? How does it work for supers? Like, what's the input? Uh, you charge down and back, and then it's forward and forward, back forward, back forward, punch for his level back one, forward. and it's back forward, back forward, X for his. Oh shit! All right, let's go. So it's, I mean, it's it's brutal. Yeah.
Try to flash kick and I press punch. <laughs> Like, I was trying to mash the shit out of it there, man, and nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's, tough. it's It's just a timing thing. I have to do it right as you hit the... right as you change colors. I mean, his level 2 isn't charged, but it doesn't do anything to get you out of mm. that scenario. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's the, it's the install. I just, I mean, you'll still like a couple frames to get splatted. <laughs> oh, that was nasty. Damn. Just bob and weave me. Time. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. trying to, but like I said, it's uh. It's good. Stops the fake pressure. Nice air there. No! Oh, shit. Oh, my old age. <laughs> no, I didn't like. Nice. Oh, that was. I'll try to do level one there. <laughs> Let's uh let's go into the thing and, and talk about. It. To be honest, I I don't. I'm having trouble thinking about what advice to give you because I think you played very well. I think there is 
One thing that I think will help though, you know, you already implemented what we talked about last time pretty well. So that is really good and that, that that's probably helped a lot. Would you do you think that that's helped you a lot in your ranked games and stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, it helped get me out of the quarter in a lot of situations. Yeah, were, were you canceling it into DRC though? Uh, sometimes, yeah, and then sometimes I was worried about burning myself out. I would oh, rather yeah, just yeah. sit there. Okay, yeah, that's and... good then, that's good then. So I think you got that nailed down, and your defense was a lot better, so I think that that is, that's huge. And, like, I think that you were pretty conscious as well about when you were, like, teching and when you were reversaling and stuff. So, like, you didn't do it that often, which is good. I'm pretty happy with how your defense is. I think, it, I think it's very solid. Obviously, it can get better, but that's just like no knowing like how to read your opponent and when to reversal, when to take the throw. But you were doing it at a good frequency, so I think that's good. But I think that like your zoning is good, but I don't think your your like um, offense is very oppressive. How do you feel about like your offense? Oh no, my offense is terrible. I know that's why I said I I try to change it up, but I I just default back to throwing sonic booms. So I think that like um like like uh, your neutral is really good. You're really good at like keeping your opponent out and like chipping them, right? You're like you're kind of like chipping their health down slowly, but you don't really get a lot of momentum. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I know one jump in and we're back to pretty much they're in the lead. Yeah, exactly. So like you'll, you'll chip somebody, you'll do like what like a fifth or something, and then they'll get a they'll get a fat punish on you, and then they'll be in the lead. Exactly. So I yeah, think that yeah, like what it, what will help is like knowing how to like take control like offensively um but i think that like do you do a lot of boom drive rush I, I tend to but usually everybody just parries it and the only thing you can really do when they parry it is is usually maybe hit them with that but it loses the dough you're saying yeah, they probably parry the boom is what you're saying yeah they usually they just parry it and then when you go in yeah you get to mix up but i don't yeah, like okay. i said i'm not very good at the, the timing of it i guess yeah yeah like if i were to try to do it usually it's that there's definitely a way to like jail me off of light, off of light blue. Yeah, yeah, like that. You say you counter hit me? Yeah, that, that's what I was doing in our fight. But oh, you were okay. parrying it, so as long yeah. as you held parry, we would parry it and I would either grab you sometimes or we would do the 50-50, you know, the 50-50 scenario. Yeah, but that's still really good for you. You're, you're talking about like I didn't perfect parry it, right? It would be yeah, nice. no, you would yeah. just parry it. Yeah. And then we're in the, and then we're in the, you know, the scenario, usually am I going to grab you or... Um, yeah, but I think that, uh, that's still a good scenario for you. And I think it'll help you gain momentum if you know how to play that mind game better. Yeah, you're plus two. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think that, like, um, like, you said you would either go for a throw, right? Do you ever shimmy into, like, a fat punish? Yeah, yeah, you, you read it, though. I don't know what to tell you there. Every time I shimmied back, you walked back, so. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Then, then I think you should just throw more, you know? And then, alpha throw, do you get Oki? Uh, I think I do. Uh, it's not very good, though. Let me see. If you back roll, I get counter hit. Oh, yeah, you, can't, you can't even drive rush for Oki. Uh, okay, can you uh, uh. Oh, yeah, you can't. I can on back throw, though. Yeah, you do. Okay, interesting. So I think that, um, yeah. Yeah, that's usually what I was doing, though, was we would do our whole exchange of this. You would parry it, and then I would plus, and I'd either grab you, yeah, or you, send me you, back. You know what? You know what I think is probably the thing that will help you improve the most. It's it's um, making your opponent with and with punishing them actually. So like, if you, let's look at your gameplay now as it stands. Right, you're really good at zoning. You're really good at keeping your opponent out, and your defense is solid enough to like survive and get out. Right, those are all huge. And then you know how to do boom drive rush, but then if they take the throw, you. You never get like fat damage off of a win. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, in, in your I, game plan, where is there a time where you hit your opponent and you like do a lot of damage? Usually, if you get them in the corner. I mean, corners where I get it, or if it's a punish counter in the in the middle. Yeah, yeah, but only in the corner. You, I think you need to be able to get a big damage punish and corner carry for mid screen. Uh, because if your only way to get them into the corner is like do the boom drive rush into one throw like this doesn't even get them into the corner this like resets to like this scenario you know yeah i'm not sure but I, man i think the only combo i get that can even push push full screen is the level two one and i mean that's level two yeah yeah that's burning level two i don't think really gal has anything to put somebody to the corner unless we're about i think right here and it's a punish counter yeah. i'd have to burn everything yeah so let, let's think about that right like 
with your current game plan, you don't really get a, a big damage punish. You don't like you don't get a big win in neutral, right? It's very chippy. Yeah, it's very. Uh, um, it's usually just a lot of. Yeah, a lot of that. Not wait, are any of those cancelable? No, no. <laughs> oh yeah. You can. You literally can just drive impact. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you can, This is special cancel. Don't I lied to you? This is, but that's a. Yeah. So I think that like the next level up for you is going to be getting good at landing like a a special cancelable normal into like big damage and corner carry, right? But the thing about that is nobody's just gonna walk into them, right? Like somebody like me, I'm not gonna walk in and get hit by your special. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I'm with any you. good player is not gonna do that. Yet. I'm sure. It, if you play like when you play people who are very aggressive do you ever like check them into big damage uh man rarely no to be rarely. honest once okay once someone gets on me i can expose my way once someone gets on me and just starts the whole dry rush jab jimmy sit in the corner it gets yeah, yeah. i really don't really know what if yeah. one wrong death leads to another and yeah then I'm okay done. <laughs> I, I think i think this is definitely it it's definitely like gonna be for you but let me write this down actually main idea Landing cancelable normals into oh, sure. DRC and huge reward. I did the little AI mode, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she said pretty much the same thing. She said you lack damage. Wait, <laughs> I'm burning some OD said? gauge, I swear. <laughs> she said I'm burning some OD gauge in your <laughs> combo. Damn. And I was the just AI gonna I was like, uh -huh. There's gonna be an AI Street Fighter coach that's better than Trunks underscore FGC. Okay, so that's the general idea, right? Landing a DRC cancelable button in neutral. But like to do that, it's very like nuanced, you know? Because there's a lot of ways you can land a DRCable button in neutral, right? You can you can check a drive rush. You can whiff punish, you can catch somebody's walk forward, you know, all, those are the main ways, right? But that sounds really simple, but it's actually a very deep game. Can I see your stand light kick, actually? Let me let me turn the other frame meters on. Do it. Uh, I can be completely honest with you, I'm not good enough to do the flash kick off of it. It's actually uh, no, 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 extremely no, hard. Do the okay. Can you just do that? Oh yeah, it's great. Okay, it's just like a Kumos, right? So this yeah, is some, this is good. This is something I can I can teach you uh, off of. So. Like, you know how we're in neutral and you, you, pretty much all you're doing is like zoning and like poking, you know, with non source yeah. cancelables. I want you to try this, okay? So in your game, right, like like when you're fighting somebody, they're scared of boom, right? So they're blocking a lot like this and maybe even thinking about parrying and stuff. They're yeah, usually not I'm pressing right. a lot of buttons because they're scared to get hit by boom, right? If if I'm pressing buttons a lot, I'm gonna get hit by your booms, right? Well, there's, there's two different types of players. This is the first one I'm going to talk about is turtly people like me. Like when you're fighting me, I'm pretty turtly, right? I don't like yeah, at yeah. you that fast. So like, yeah, the other people are already know. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So first let's talk about turtly people. We'll talk about aggressive people later, but turtly people like me, um, like your zoning is great, but it only gets chip damage, right? In order to bait your opponent to get like a fat reward damage after DRC, you want to like, um, do stuff like this. Do you know why this is good? Because they're going to eventually try to check that, which is going to lead to a bigger button, I'd assume, right? Um, so, like... Something along the lines of that? I don't... Yeah, so, like, just down back real quick. You see how, like, uh, when I walk up and do this, um, it's very hard for you to deal with this, right? It kind of, like, um... It just sets a... a like, it's like me planting the idea in your head that I'm going to walk up and do it. And, like, it's also a space trap, so, like... Yeah, it's a good probe for information, like Mizu said. So, like, like press 2MK after this. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, like that. Mine's really good, are you sure? Yeah, oh, yeah. shit. So you see how it, you can do the same, right? Damn. Walk up and do a like, you come and block. Oh, sorry. And then with punish me. Sorry, you have to do a max spacing for it. So, like, in neutral, you'll be, like, down backing zoning, and then you'll just, like, you'll be like, okay, I'm going to walk forward and press like kick like this. So, like, just hold down back, and then when it's time, just do this, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you yeah. hold down back, walk for it, arch up. And then you would punish them, yeah, you see. Wait, that's not oh, special okay. cancelable though, right? Is it? Uh, right, like for, close, like stand in boom range, the most practical way to do it is you're standing in boom range, like here, and then you walk up like this, you know? Yeah, so like stand in boom range, always reset the boom range, and then do it, you know? Yeah, exactly, and then you get okay. Um, you can also probably do that oh. with the special cancel normal. But this is just a general idea, right? So like, yeah, yeah, no, I, I want you to you. mix this in, right? This. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. you to mix this in. Like, um, you're playing 
don't don't really worry about the space trap that much. I think if you if you have somebody who does that, then it's a good punish. But the general idea of doing this is to make them think you're gonna walk up. You know, because this is very annoying, right? Think of it as a way yeah. to annoy your opponent, right? Because there's no clear answer for them on how to deal with it, and it kind of gives you a space trap, which gives you a slice a slight advantage situation, right? Mm -hmm. But what you're doing when you do this is you're making them worried about you walking up and pressing light kick, right? So, so like, do this on my block a couple times. Yeah, like, or, no, no, it's more like uh, you're throwing booms, you light kick, right? You resume throwing oh. booms, and then you and then you walk in and light kick again. And then you throw more booms, and then you walk in and light kick, right? That's kind of, like, what you would do. Yeah, yeah, I got you. And yeah. then... They're gonna be... Yeah, and then in my head, right, this is kind of in the RPS, right? By walking up and light kicking, to me, I'm like, okay, fuck. After he throws some booms, he's gonna walk up and light kick me again, right? And then the way to counter a walk-up light kick is for me to preemptively press this. Because there's no way I can react to you doing this, you know? Yeah, no, you would have to just, just throw it out there. Yeah, I have to just throw it out there and, like, try to read you walking forward, right? So think think about what that sets up for. You doing this will force somebody to play more preemptive. So when I'm playing more preemptive, that's when you get fat with punishes and the massive damage. So what I like to do is I like to do this, establish this precedent, right? against a turtley player. And then that will force them to start doing being more preemptive, which allows me to get big punishes. Like, you, you know what I mean? That's the yeah. general idea. And it's gonna be really awkward at first cause you've never done this before, but I think going for that more, especially against like turtley players will be good, you know? Yeah, that's a, I think this button's special cancel too. Oh yeah, uh, it is, it is. But I wouldn't focus on like trying to special cancel it and damage or anything. I don't. I don't really do that. Yeah, I don't think it'd be very good damage in you know, the light. Yeah, yeah, it's not really worth it. It's it's more just to annoy your opponent. Okay, let's let's start with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down in your notes actually. So light kick mind games. That's 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 gonna be the name of the game. And there's gonna be two ways for you to get big damage against it, right? If they whiff in the space trap, whiff punish into DRC for big damage. And then the other thing is, makes them play more preemptive, which sets up for with punishes. Okay, and this is against turtley characters, turtley players. Okay, that's the, that's the right. first thing. <laughs> okay, so literally just um, get good at throwing booms and then making this in, mixing this in. And then your two win conditions, that the two things that you're trying to, to get from doing this, are A, if they're stupid enough to get space trapped every time and you can just whiff punish after this, then you do that, right? Um, the other thing is just making them play more preemptive so that you can whiff punish them later. What it would look like is you throw booms, you light kick, you throw booms, you light kick, you throw booms, you walk up and you stop. <laughs> yeah. And then they whiff and then you blow them up, right? Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, yeah exactly. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Mess around with that, it's gonna be hard, you're gonna fuck it up a lot, it's gonna be... But that's gonna be, like, getting good at that is gonna be the next step for you, I think. The other thing is, that's against turtley players. Against aggressive players, a lot of it is just, like, zoning them and then figuring out when they like to drive rush or when they like to walk forward and dash in and then literally just, like, pressing heavy punch into DRC at that time. Yeah. You know? It's a lot of just, like, doing your, your current game plan where you're zoning a lot and, like, playing defensive and poking and annoying them. But then when you have a read on when they like to advance or when they like to drive rush or when... Things of that nature, you just fucking like read them and fucking Boom. Do this. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. And the thing is, like, when people are overly aggressive, they're not really um, good at whiff punishing, right? So if somebody's thinking about when they're gonna jump, when they're gonna drive rush and stuff, you don't have to be that scared to just throw that in neutral because they're probably not even gonna whiff punish you, you know? So basically, don't be too scared of just like throwing this out and, and DRCing when you have a read. So let me write that down. Aggro players, zone and chip like normal game plan find out when they like to advance slash dr on the ground throw out heavy punch plus drc for big damage and corner carry okay and yeah that's pretty much it i think you don't need to change anything about the other parts of your game because those are all great your zoning is great your neutral is great um your your defense is solid you just want to be really good at Basically just, it's 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 a lot of just like tools and footsies, adding to your tool belts and footsies um, so that you can like score big wins, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm following you. I'm gonna start using this like 
I promise I, I use everything you've showed me so far. I'm gonna definitely start using this. I've used everything you've showed me so far. And it's helped a lot. Okay, I sweet. Mean, I was like a 1400 player. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad. That makes you really happy to hear. But yeah, I think that this is going to be huge. And uh, don't get too discouraged if it's like really awkward and you get like... The thing about this is that I, I like a lot of people are scared to do this, right? They're scared to walk forward. But this is so... There's so little counterplay to this. Like, what is the counterplay to this, actually? I don't... You're just... Like you said, you have to preemptively... Yeah, you have to preempt. That's the only... Because it's so fast, right? It's so fast that if they like try to react to it, you're just going to counter hit them, <laughs> you know? Cause it's like uh, six I was, frames. I was, I'm trying to react with a jab. Yeah, you can't. It, it's gonna. This is actually so low risk. You cannot react to this. So don't be scared to do this. And also, like people, if there's like if they di or some shit, this is so. This is literally so uncommittal. You can counter di like so fast. And also, okay. if they like, if you're like doing this and they jump, it recovers so fast that you can still anti air. You know, like I know you won't be able to like. Um, flash kick, flash but yeah, kick. Just... you'll be able to whiff it and then anti-air you know or even whiff it and then air to air or something like that so it's like it's very low risk basically and uh this isn't the only move you can do this with like for example you can even do this with things like this like if you're if you're throwing booms and then you want to like uh, you want to do this you can just set up a space trap like that and it, it's kind of the same it's a little more risky because you know it, it's slower and stuff like that, but it has its place as well. But this is just a, I think for now, just do this because this will get you thinking in the realm of like how to play the mind games with this. And then as you get better, you can start doing it with different buttons, like walk up this or walk up this or like, you know, like stuff like this or something like that, you know. Like you can actually also do this with your, your poke buttons, like your, your forward kick or whatever. Uh, your other one that you use in neutral. Yeah, that one. That does the same thing. See, it makes me whiff, right? Exactly. And then you can also, like, play the mind games with that. Like, oh, he's getting a forward medium kick, and then I'm going to press a button, and then I fucking whiff, and then you fuck me up for it, right? Yeah, <laughs> See, yeah, I'm with You can it. literally do it with any button that space traps and puts you out of safe range. Doing the forward kick thing is riskier, so I wouldn't do it with that a lot because you might get random DI'd or something, <laughs> you know? Yeah, you... You have to be like constantly buffering behind it, and I'm not very good at it. Like yeah, when you can't yeah. buffer, you just input super behind it all the time, and then oh, they don't. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so just start with this and get good at this. Add that to your game, and it'll be crazy. All right, bro. Appreciate it. It was a really good session. I'm glad we figured out. No, some stuff no, I appreciate it as always. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Peace out. Later, man.